Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Cassandra, aka the Daily Wealth Ninja. I just pressed the go live button on Facebook. It oh, it just now popped up, so it might uh be working. Let me make sure you can hear me. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining me today. Uh so for those of you that follow me, you know that this channel, these videos put on by Daily Wealth Ninja are done in regards to giving you information and education about Forex, crypto, you know, things like that. Now, please be advised as you look at the above here, right? I am not a licensed professional person. I am simply telling you what I learn and what I'm using in my trading in the hopes that it benefits you with yours. So, um, you know, if you have any questions, please feel free to speak with a licensed professional, et cetera, et cetera. Um, please do not take my word as gospel. Again, just sharing with you what I'm learning. So, Today and every Sunday is something called Market Mastery. I'm a part of a training academy that teaches people um, how to trade in the markets, as well as provide some really great tools and um, coaches and things like that for our education. So um, every Sunday they have a specific training that's actually available to non-members. And so I wanted to share with you a little bit about that today because those that weren't on their live um, can't get the replays unless they're actually part uh, of the education uh, academy. So uh, what I want to share with you today are seven tips to help with your trading psychology. So why is your psychology important? If you were not aware of this, literally 95% or more of your habits, the things that you do, the thoughts that you think, everything that you know as you comes from your subconscious the the thing that that goes on behind scenes right and that's created by the environment that you grew up in the people that you hang around and you can change your psychology at any time uh, just some of it might not become a habit until after it's gotten deep into your subconscious so your psychology with trading is so important because most people want to get rich quick scheme they want something that you know gives them immediate results like right now the problem is is that most people don't don't do what they need to do first in order to get to a place where they can leverage the am am just amazing power of trading in the markets. And so <clears throat> what I'm sharing with you today is from one of our successful educators, someone who um, is doing a full-time uh, uh, lifestyle with part-time trading. And again, passion is not typical. They do not guarantee nor dictate your future success and just sharing with you what's possible. I learned these seven tips from the uh, per successful person that was speaking today on that training, and I want to share them with you today. Now, if you want to um, learn more about the stuff that's, that's happening and, and be notified of when I go live, be sure to like this page and turn on follow. You just have to go to my page, click the follow button, and make sure that your notifications are turned on. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first point of having better trading psychology is that you have to believe the most important thing that comes to your trading is how you are um, putting yourself into state, right? It's the most important thing when it comes to trading is having the best psychology. So if you are upset, if you are angry, if you're frustrated, trying to come to the charts when you're in that state of high emotion is going to make is going to ensure that your your trades are not going to be as they would if you came in at calms, prepared, et cetera, et cetera. So your psychology is the most important thing when it comes to um, trading. The second tip for psychology is that you need to adopt the mindset of focus on being stable, not rich. So a lot of people, when they when they see Forex, they think get get rich, get, get rich quick. They think fast money. Uh, but the thing is, is that if you focus on the money, if you focus on the peps, you focus on all that, you are going to miss out on some of the important factors like, oh, you know, risk management or um, making sure that you follow something that works for you in the time zones that you're trading in and things like that. Because otherwise you're focusing on the rich part and you're not and you're going to lack on this being stable part and being stable is what allows you to stay consistent and continue to grow in your, in your accounts. <clears throat> so uh, the next one is limit your pairs. Some people will try and do as many pairs as possible. They, they make all the calls, they use all the tools, and they just do all that. But you need to focus on the pairs that fit you. Not all pairs work the same. Not all of them are as fast as others. And some of them don't work as well that are, that are not in their, their Forex sessions um, than, than they should be. So you want to focus on the pairs that fit your mindset, that work the way that you do, right? If if you if your brain works super fast, you might be cool in your OJPY. Um, but you want to find find pairs that fit your fit your mindset, the speed of how you process the pairs, and 
you need to realize that having too many pairs open actually opens you to a lot more risk than you really need. It opens you up to mental anxiety. It opens you up to other issues um, if you, versus if you only had a few pairs open. And there's other things that are involved in that as well. Like some pairs are tied to others. And so if one tanks, the others might. And if you're not consciousness, excuse me, cognizant of that, then you're, you might have issues there as well. So last thing to remember on this particular point is that not all pairs move the same time which is what I said earlier, nor were they, nor do they move with the same volatility as fast, as big, right, um, at, at that, that fit your mindset. So you need to make sure that you are using pairs that do. Um, uh, the person who was speaking today, uh, he said that his pairs are GBP, AUD, so Great British Pound, Amer uh, Australian Dollar, um, Great British GBP, NZD, GBP, CAD, um, because for him, they give him stability. So whatever works for you and your trading plan, uh, be sure to use just a few, right? Um, tip number four for your trading psychology is that you need to choose a strategy that feels comfortable. Don't try to force a strategy just because, you know, all the other people are doing it or because you know that it works or whatever. Some strategies won't work for you for any number of reasons, but you have to find one that works for you that makes sense, that, that you can really drive home and be consistent with. <clears throat> um, the next point is that if you currently um, are trading a strategy that you are consistently losing with, then that strategy is not for you. If you keep losing, there's something either with that strategy, maybe it's the time of day, maybe it's the pair that you're using, maybe it's your mindset or your psychology. Stop forcing yourself to adapt to something that doesn't fit you, okay? So that's tip number five for your trading psychology. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's tip number five for your trading psychology. Tip number six, make a realistic goal for yourself. If you want to make a million dollars in Forex, it's possible. But if you are still new or if you haven't even made your first thousand, you're likely, likely, possibly not going to get it in a year, especially not in six months unless you just like your brain just picks it up really fast or whatever. So you need to be realistic with the goals that you want to have for yourself. Um, you know, you can you can do the whole smart goal and things like that, but you also need a trading plan. And I'll go into that in another video later. So again, be sure to like and follow so that you um, get notified when I'm going to go live on that. So make a realistic goal for yourself. Stick to your trading plan. Stick to your trading plan and that you create for yourself because that that way you know what your confirmations are, you know when you're going to be trading, you know what pairs you're going to be trading. You're going to have your blinders on and not being focused on any everything else that's going on. You're going to be focused on what's stable and what works for you. Consistency, right? Do not cheat from that plan. Strictly focus on that plan. Okay. And last but not least, your seventh trading tip for your trading psychology is be patient. Everyone's journey is different. Just because Joe Blow from Queens, New York, uh, was able to quit his job in six months doesn't mean that you're going to have the same results, right? And then that was just an example. I'm, I'm sure there's people who have done it maybe in six months. I know people who are doing it right now. <laughs> But again, passion is also typical. They don't guarantee or dictate your future success, but it's possible. But you have to be patient. You cannot compare your chapter one or even your chapter three to someone else's 27. Okay. So that's the seventh tip for today for your trading psychology. Be sure again to turn on those notifications so that you are alerted to when I'm going to go be going live next or sharing some videos because I'm actually going to be um, doing some stuff in the next week or so where I won't be able to do lives. But I'm going to be covering the trading plan. I'm going to be covering some. Um, things that you might not know about with TradingView. So be sure to turn those notifications on and I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day. Yeah, it's Sunday. Have a great uh, rest of your week.